Mexico. All right, hey, uh, Roger Dodger here, and uh, I wanted to make a quick video on how I rig up the FBR uh, herring heads for uh, salmon trolling. So down here, I've got the actual rig we used Saturday uh, to get a nice coho out here that uh, many of you saw posted on the forum. Um, it's about a 40-inch leader with two hooks, a, a stop here, and then the FBR head there. So what I do is I order two packs for about seven bucks of the anchovy size heads from sheltonproducts.com. And the first thing I do when I pull them out is I peel the eyes off because <clears throat> I found that uh, we do better without the eyes. I take these and I park the pin up there and then I get a regular mooching rig. I like the sliding because it allows me to position the trailing hook behind the tail of the herring. And then I get these bear paw line connectors that are used to connect fly line to leaders. They're little two-piece guys like this. I snip off with a pair of diagonals a little bit on each end to make them shorter. And that helps them fit inside here a little better. And then all I do is, I take the mooching rig, I slide the bear paw on, then I clip the stop over the line like you do. It rotates and pushes like that and allows you to put a stop. Then, I take the end of my mooching leader and I feed it down through the FBR head and run it down like that. This stop will allow me to hold the line so that we're towing without pulling on the hooks. And that's important. So once I've done that, um, I would normally go out and measure about 40 inches and tie on a, a bead chain swivel like I have here. But I'll, I'll skip that and just show you how I then rig up a green size herring. Back hook, I go through about two thirds of the way back, bring it on through, then I take the forward hook go in that same hole, but then pivot it forward, like that. You can see here I've got too much line, so I'll grab, and I'll get that trailing hook back right near. Then I'll slide this stop just in front of the nose of the herring, push that in a little tighter, Slide the rotating head down so that that stop goes inside and up to the front. Push the head of the herring in. Drop the pin through. And I've got basically a two hook regular gamakatsu mooching rig using the FBR head. I can adjust this trailing hook now if I want it a little further back. Normally these, if you get this head straight in here, will just spin real tight. If they're not tight enough, I'll clip the tail fins off the herring and that'll even tighten it up. Um, I usually go 40 inches on the leader and then either run that behind a uh, rotating flasher or if we're going to go right behind the uh, drop sinker, I'll put maybe a Two foot um, leader with a with a swivel, so that I end up being about six feet back from the uh, sinker, and that's it. It's a great way to <clears throat> rig up these individual FBR heads, or to reuse ones that you've bought um, that have the hook rigging that come from uh, Shelton Products. You can rehook and rig them this way if you want. That's it.
Go fishing. <laughs>